Hello each and everyone the one who is watching my video this is Ankita welcoming you to global online UGC net and set exam preparation channel where we are taking classes on net set exams okay so in today's lecture i am going to discuss about the new unit that is business economics in today's lecture we are going to discuss about most important mcq which are important for your upcoming exam 2022 okay before going ahead one more important thing every day at 6 i will be uploading my video on the global online ugc net and set exam preparation channel so do visit our channel every day at 6 and do watch my video to clear your upcoming exam before going ahead i want to tell you one more important thing students global online is offering course for commerce paper 2 for exam 2022 in which we will be providing you full syllabus test series with the detailed explanation full syllabus notes of all the 10 unit each and every concept we are providing detailed explanation then is full syllabus video lectures that too with the detailed explanation previous year mcq with the detailed solution previous year pdf with the detailed solution we are providing this course just for rupees 5000 at present we are offering this course on offer that is we are providing you discount of 20% if you are taking this course at present then you will get this course for 20% discount okay and if you are taking this course the paper 1 we are giving you that is free of cost in which we will be providing you 50 mock tests with the detailed explanation full syllabus video lectures with the detailed explanation that too we are also providing live lecture for paper 1 we are also giving you notes on all the 10 unit and you will be immediately added in the whatsapp group and if you have any problem regarding the syllabus commerce as well as the paper 1 you can discuss that problem in the group you can directly contact to the educators okay to join this course contact on this number and also download our app global online there might be question in your mind how to download our app to aapko play store mein jana hai and just type global online fir aapko kuch aisa logo dikhega और उस पर आपको क्लिक करना है और आपको ये जो ऐप है वो अपने मोबाइल में इंस्टॉल करना है ओके इंस्टॉल करने के बाद अगर आप उसके अंदर जाते हो तो आपको कुछ ऐसा वेव दिखेगा जहां पर आपको कॉमर्स पेपर टू सर्च करना है और उसमें जाना है और उसके जो कॉमर्स के सारे जो स्टडी मटेरियल है कुछ वीडियोज है प्रैक्टिस एम है वो आपको वहां पर मिल जाएंगे हम आपको ये कोर्स ऑफर में भी प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं कुछ डिस्काउंट भी प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं ये डिस्काउंट आपको वहां पर जाकर ही पता चल जाएगा तो प्लीज डाउनलोड अवर ऐप टू नो ऑल अबाउट दिस और अगर आपको कोई भी डिफिकल्टी है तो यू कैन डायरेक्टली कॉन्टेक्ट टू द गिवन नंबर और एल्स यू कैन ऑल्सो डाउनलोड इज एप थ्रू द लिंक विच वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके suppose a customer who purchase only goods is making a utility maximizing choice and then the price of the one good decreases what will happen man lijiye ki ek grahak jo keval do saman kharidta hai upayukt bana raha hai aditmak vikalp aur fir se ek mal ki kimat ghat jati hai kyu hota hai aisa okay what happen so the options here given are the customer purchasing power will increase then is customer total utility will increase then is the consumer's money income will increase and from this you have to select the correct one if the customer who purchases the only one good and making the utility maximizing the choice and then the price of the one good is decreasing then the customer purchasing power will increase and the customer total utility will also increase so the correct answer for this question will be option number second that is a and b only okay 
Next question here is for a decline in a price total revenue that is TR increases if the demand is and the options given are elastic, second option is inelastic, third option is unitary elastic and last option is zero elastic. Total revenue is the total receipt a seller can obtain from selling the goods or a services to the buyer. It can be written as P multiplied by Q which is the price of the good multiplied by quantity of the good sold. For this question the correct answer will be option number one that is elastic for a decline in a price total revenue that is TR increases if the demand is elastic. The capital that is consumed by an economy or a firm in the production process is known as मतलब कि उत्पादन प्रक्रिया में एक अर्थव्यवस्था या एक फर्म द्वारा खपत की जाने वाली पूंजी को क्या कहा जाता है एंड द ऑप्शन गिवन आर कैपिटल लॉस कैपिटल लॉस इज अ डिफरेंट बिटवीन लोअर सेलिंग प्राइस एंड अ हायर परचेज प्राइस और अ कॉस्ट प्राइस ऑफ द एलिजिबल कैपिटल असेट विच टिपिकली रिप्रेजेंट अ फाइनेंशियल लॉस फॉर द सेलर सेकेंड ऑप्शन गिवन इज प्रोडक्शन लॉस The total price paid for the resources used to manufacture a product or a, to create the services such as a raw material, labor and other is called a production cost. Then is death weight loss. Death weight loss is also known as excess burden is a measure of a loss economy efficiency when the socially optimal quantity of a goods or a services is not produced. And the last option here is depreciation. In the economy, depreciation is a gradual decrease in the economy value of a capital stock of the firm, nation or a other entity, either through a physical depreciation or a change in the demand for a services of the capital in question okay so for this question the answer will be option number d that is depreciation if the demand for a good is inelastic and an increase in its price will cause the total expenditure of the consumer of a good to yadi kisi vastu ki maang belojdar hai to uski kimmat mein वृद्धि से उस वस्तु को उपभोक्ताओं को कुल व्यय होगा एंड द ऑप्शन गिवन आर इंक्रीज सेकेंड ऑप्शन गिवन इज डिक्रीज थर्ड ऑप्शन इज रिमेन द सेम मतलब कि कॉन्स्टेंट एंड लास्ट ऑप्शन इज बिकम जीरो इफ द डिमांड फॉर अ गुड इज इन इलास्टिक एंड इंक्रीज इन इट्स अ प्राइस विल कॉज द टोटल एक्सपेंडिचर ऑफ कंज्यूमर्स ऑफ अ गुड टू इंक्रीज Raising price will always cause total revenue to increase. So the answer here for this question will be option number A that is increase. The next question here is income elasticity of demand is defined as a responsiveness of and the options given are quantity demanded to change in income. Second option is Quantity demanded to change in price. Third option is price to change in income. And last option is income to a change in quantity demanded. Income elasticity of demand that is YED is defined as responsiveness of a demand when the consumer's income changes. It is defined as the ratio of a change in the quantity demanded over a change in the income. Higher the income elasticity, the more sensitive demand for a good is to change in the income. So the answer here for this question will be option number A. Income elasticity of a demand is defined as responsiveness of quantity demanded to change in income. Next question here is the supply of a goods referred to. And the options given are stock available for the sale. Second option is total stock in the warehouse. Third option is 
actual production of good and last option is quantity of a goods offered for the sale as a particular price per unit of a time the supply of a goods refer to the quantity of a good offered for the sale at a particular price per unit time the term supply refer to the entire relationship between the quantity supplied and the price of the good the correct answer for this question will be option number d that is quantity of a good offered for the sale at a particular price per unit of time the cost of one thing in term of a alternative given up is called and the options given are real cost now the real cost is refer to the payment made to the factor of a production to compensate for a disutility of a rendering the services it is a competitor in term of a tolerable pain and discomfort involved for a labor when it is engaged in the production second option here is production cost the total price paid for the resources used to manufacture the product or to create the services that is called a production cost then is physical cost physical cost is the inventory value associated with the physical posting or a packaging slip step for the movement and the financial asset is the inventory value associated with the financial posting or a invoice step of the same movement and last option here is opportunity cost now what is opportunity cost opportunity cost is the economic term that refer to the value of what you have to give in order to choose a something else the answer here for this question will be option number d the cost of one thing in term of the alternative given up is called a opportunity cost understanding each option is very important because you may receive any question on any of the option okay in which of the following market structure is the degree of a control over the price of its a product by a firm very large and the options given are imperfect competition imperfect competition refer to the situation where the characteristic of an economic market do not fulfill all the necessary condition of a perfectly competitive market resulting in a market failure second option here is perfect competition a perfect market is also known as automatic market is defined by a several idealizing condition collectively called a perfect competition and third option given is monopoly in monopoly type of market structure there are only one seller and so single firm will control the entire market in monopoly there is a condition that one seller and many buyer right so the seller one who is selling the product will have a more control over a market it can set only the price it wish since it has all the market power and the last option is a and b both here the correct answer for this question will be option number c that is monopoly market The next question here is demand for a factor of a production is and the first option here is derived demand the term derived demand refer to the demand for a goods or a services that itself arises out of the demand for a related or a intermediate goods or a services second option here is joint demand the definition of a joint demand is when you need two goods together if two goods are in a joint demand they will have a high and a negative cross elasticity of the demand and third option here is composite demand composite demand is a demand for a commodity or a services that have a multiple uses for example the demand for a steel is a result of its use for a various purpose like making utensils car bodies pipes cans etc okay and last option here is none of the above so the answer for this question will be option number a demand for a factor of a production is 
derive demand. The demand for any factor for production such as a labor, physical capital or a land is a derived demand because it arises not from the intrinsic utility provided by a factor but because of the value placed on the production it's produced by a consumers. The next question here is the price selling below the equilibrium price often lead to and the options given are commodity guilt, second option is tax burden on consumer, third option is shortage of a commodity and black marketing and last option is export of commodity. Now here what is price selling? First of all you have to understand the meaning of this okay then only you will be able to answer this question. So a price ceiling is a government or a group imposed price control or a limit on how high price is charged for a product, commodity or a services. Government uses the price ceiling ostensibly to protect the consumer from the condition that will make a commodity prohibitively expensive. Here the answer for this question will be option number 3 that is shortage of a commodity and black marketing. Okay students so this is the last question and I am not going to tell the answer for this question because you have to answer this question. Okay so here the question is which statistical measure help in measuring the purchasing power of money. Please understand the question first and then only try to answer the question. Here they are asking you the statistical measure which is helping in measuring the purchasing power of the money. And the options given are automatic average, second option is index number, third option is harmonic mean and last option is time series. I am going to tell you the answer for my next class. Till then I am waiting for your answer. So please comment your answer. Okay. It might be wrong but it's okay because here we are studying. Okay. So please answer this question.